Welcome, welcome, welcome to Watches Unboxed. And today we have the Sortina DS4 being reviewed by Philip. Enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And before we get into it, if you're not already subscribed, please do hit that button and validate my terrible light choices. Thanks. Now, if you're anything like me, firstly, sorry. And secondly, you've probably spent the best part of 20 minutes configuring a watch on the Rolex website, scrolling through the specs, considering the price, what it would mean for you to own one, to caress one, to love one. Only to then realize you'll probably never ever get one because nowhere seems to have them in stock. And you're too scared to log into your online banking for fear you'll see your recent bad decisions on eBay manifest. Nevertheless, I still haven't learnt my lesson, and I was back on my bull a few weeks ago. It's very much, on paper at least, the perfect everyday watch. It's got water resistance, so it'll be able to handle my tears as I read up my monthly bank statements. It's attractive and functional, like Xavi Alonso. Thin and simple, like Jacob Rees-Mogg subtle and understated like an apology from the news of the world now my personal choice would be the 36 millimeter non-fluted bezel variant on either a jubilee or a standard bracelet i could give up on watches there and then if i got that model so if anyone wants these videos to stop well you know what you have to do okay i really thought that would work anyway after I'd had enough of ogling the day just like a 12 year old finding a porn stash in a bush, I found this. It's the Certina DS4 Automatic. It's Swiss made, tick. It's got a date function, tick. It's 38 millimeters, mm, sort of tick. And it's got a bracelet with some polished links. Okay, tick. So next to the price, the RRP on this is 595. Meh. Must try harder. 428. Okay, I'm listening. 321. We have liftoff. So how is this Swiss made, automatic, go anywhere, do anything, full stainless steel watch? Just £321. And why is no one talking about it? Specs wise, it's not a monster. But more like a goblin. This sapphire crystal. A full stainless steel bracelet. And a solid ETA 2836-2. It's a 4 hertz movement that's basically a 2824, but with a day-date complication, further adding to the watch's everyday capabilities. It hacks, it hand winds, and you can quickly set the date. It's got a roughly 38-hour power reserve, and mine is running excellently at about plus 7 seconds per day. There's some anti-reflective coating on the underside from the looks of things, as it's incredibly legible in any light. Well... Except darkness. Here's the loom shot, if you can call it that. There is some loom here, but they may as well not have bothered. I'd have rather them spent the money on getting the font right on this butterfly clasp. What font is that? Comic Sans? One of this watch's appeals is the fact it's from a watchmaker that's been around since 1888. 133 years later, and they put the wrong logo on the clasp. Yikes. The logo on the dial is perfect. And funnily enough, the number of lines of text and images matches that on the Rolex date just, with the logo doubling up as the marker at 12 on the Rolex. Nice. But unlike the flat black enamel-like dial on that Rolex, the DS4 features this kind of raised outer section that's nicely cut out around the date window. And you've also got markers between each minute marker, three of them. I could probably do without them to be honest, they make the dial look a little cluttered at the edges. The hands though are very similar to the Rolex's Baton handset, and the beveled, rectangular indices are applied. Unfortunately, they don't contain much loom either, and are about as bright as Katie Hopkins. So speaking of tabloid Charlotte and c**t, like Piers Morgan, I'm a bit overly preoccupied with the crown. It's a push-pull one, but it's protected by Certina's double security system, which frankly I'm not clever enough to explain, but they did with this helpful image to illustrate it. So despite that crown, I am reassured by Certina's history and that impressive JPEG. So I would be more than happy to take this into the pool. If I had a pool. 
which I don't. Anyway, the water resistance isn't just a number they've slapped on the spec sheet, basically. So onto the bracelet and it's meh again. And that's me being extremely generous. Look, it was never gonna match the refined design and quality of a Rolex bracelet. But because of the butterfly clasp, you might need to compromise when it comes to the fit. Thankfully, there are some half links, so you might be okay in that regard. Sizing the watch is easy enough, it's just push pins, so it's another corner cut. Personally, I think it's a risk worth taking, especially as the versatility of this watch means you can change up the strap and be confident it'll still look good. That way, you don't have to look down and see the brand name completely shat on like that. My old primary school head teachers used to tell me to never use the word nice, but f them. This watch embodies that word, and that goes for the finishing too. It's just nice. The tops of the lugs are brushed, the sides are polished, as is that rounded bezel. The display case back lets us see that etta movement beating away, and that's probably where it's best to leave my thoughts on this one. Lots of people point to the Seiko SNX S79K as the best budget Rolex they've just alternated. But if you can stretch that budget, I think this Certina, that I never hear anyone talking about, is worth a shout. The movement alone is roughly £175, or about $245. That means you're getting the rest of this excellent Swiss made package for about £146. You're getting a Swiss made, full stainless steel watch with 133 years of history behind it, and a security system that the Capitol building would envy. I think that's worth it. Links are in the description below for where I picked this up for £321. They're not affiliate links, so do shop around and you might get it even cheaper. As ever, thanks so much for watching and please do like and subscribe. Every subscriber counts towards my girlfriend thinking that this whole watch thing might actually be somewhat interesting.